Well, we're gonna be bouncing around so much lately that I think we're just gonna do like, uh, kind of like some shop update videos because I don't think we're gonna get any one project done in an orderly fashion. So, uh, yeah, we got dead battery on a quad, I guess. Tundra, still got a little bit to do. Got to finish, put that other bed rail on and start detailing this thing. Got her all licensed up. I think we need to bleed the brake still. Um, anyway, that's, uh, yeah, whatever. The buggy we got, got the tranny in. Last night, got the transmission in. Got the transfer case and crawl box in. Now it's just hooking up drive lines, shifters, fluids, skid plates, stuff like that. Probably have that done in the next day or so. Go. We'll go for a little test drive. Um, what else is going on? Uh, the we got parts coming in for the 14 bolt front steer axle. That'll be coming up soon. Pan head just sitting over here leaking oil everywhere because. Uh, the kid's working on his project today, which is the Z50 build. So he's getting everything all laid out. The Bel Air's just chilling, collecting parts. Got the frame over here drying. Got it all blasted down and painted and clear coated. Um, coming up on the Bel Air, we got, we're pulling the 47 RE automatic out. And we're going to put this uh, ZF6S750 six-speed manual in it. I got an adapter, clutch, starter, all the crap coming for that. That's going to make it way easier to do what we want to do with our end goal with this thing, which is drift it, maybe. So, trans hump's going to have to get cut back out of it, raised up. And we've also got a cage for it. Got some different motor mounts. Um, and for the people who haven't really seen this on the channel yet. Um, oh man, getting rusty in there. It's got a pretty pumped up 12 valve. So yeah super fun car pretty much gives me a anxiety attack every time i drive it so that's a good thing <clears throat> so that six speed is going to be even funner i got a hydraulic clutch pedal coming for it all kinds of good shit so anyway that's what's going on in the shop today i think we're gonna Keep picking away at the kids mini bike today for a little while and maybe later tonight i'll come out and work on this rock buggy so On the lift, got our big bad boy Bruce Jenner back with all the goody inside. Yeah, getting our uh, converter pre filled here with some of the good stuff. I don't know if it's any good, it's probably 
doesn't even make a difference. Who knows? I'll feel better about it though. That's about the right height. My uh, trans jack doesn't go up high enough, so we gotta leave it down a couple notches. So, yeah, we got that. I should probably double check to make sure I torqued them bolts. Pretty sure I did, but anyway, yeah. Just as disgusting as we left it. Uh, we got old Bruce back up in the hole. Old Bruce Jenner. Oh uh, yeah. Got our nice uh, nice converter fit. Uh, always looking for I don't know. Eighth to a three sixteenth. See if I can even get a shot of that. So yeah. Sorry, it's kind of confined space. There's not really much to look at, but cranny back in, starters in, all the bell housing bolts are done. The dipstick's done. Next, we got to flush our cooler. So I got some of that cooler flush shit in the can, so we'll squirt that juice through those back and forth a few times. And then, uh, I guess next is we got to fight this... Uh, Crawl box 205 setup back up in there. Probably clean this thing off a little bit too. It's pretty gross. We got a new seal to put in there. Hopefully one that doesn't fall out every time. So cruising right along. This thing is a pain in the ass to get in there. So I'll probably wait till maybe the kid gets home from school or something. Probably going to be super loud over here because we're bike lift right by the heater anyway got that one two five going on the stand go check out this frame just finished the last coat of clear it's kind of like a olive drab i think it's the same color as my chevy turned out pretty good for a spray bomb job so we're going to start assembly, be a fun little project to get all his parts off my, my workbench over there too. Fucker kicked my pan head off the bike lift for a mini bike. Come on. Come on, man. All right, we got, I'll zoom out here. I'll zoom back in. We got parts. Billet 10 inch wheels. We got Cowie KFX 110. Uh, forks, billet, T bolt, triple clamp, plus three swing arm, new black tank, reservoir shocks, black plastics. Not painted either. These are like, these are real black plastics, which are expensive and impossible to find. Uh, Life in. I think it's a song chin. I don't know. 125, we've got BBR bars, carb, a bunch more crap over there. We are ready to assemble. mechanical device that turns heat energy into usable power. We got frame, motor, motor inch, carburetor that can take over. Nice swing arm for T-bolt. It's got needle bearings and shit in there. Got the shocks figured out. Uh, still got to put the top nuts on. Leave them loose though, because the seat's going to slide in there. So, 
starting to look like something. Just can't get over how cool it is. Yeah, she's coming together. We're waiting for some uh, hub parts to dry, and then we can put wheels and tires on. Handlebars, seat, should be a roller today. We can put the peg bar and kickstand on. Yeah, gas cap. Still got a ways to go, but she is coming along nice. It's always good working with quality parts. Thank you, T-Bolt. And Trail Buddy. These little stands are pretty legit. Trans installed. Goes in all the gears. I let it run for a while on the lift, so doesn't look like we have any leaks or anything. So we're gonna get these skid plates back on. I already got the two heavy bottom ones on. And probably take it out and give it a bath. And uh, then we gotta keep going on the seat heaters and the heater and the windshield frame that we started building like two months ago that all got put on hold. So probably end this one short here. And uh, thanks for watching.